Hello everyone, so today we're going to go over section 2.1, two-term and three-term ratios. So a two-term ratio is simply a comparison of two numbers with the same units. And a three-term ratio is basically the same thing, but instead of two numbers, we will be comparing three numbers. Okay, so let's look at some examples. In example one, uh, we have a bag with 20 marbles in it. So uh, the two-term ratio of black marbles to white marbles we simply have 10 to 4, which is the um, totals here are there are 10 black marbles and there are 4 white marbles and there are 6 gray marbles. So, for expressing ratio, we should have simplified form. So notice that these two numbers are both divisible by 2. So we can write this ratio instead as 5 to 2. Okay. So next up we have the number of white marbles, which is 4, to the total number, which is 20 marbles. And again, that is also reducible. We can divide both these numbers by 4. So we'll get 1 to 5. Uh, next up, what marbles are represented by the ratio of 3 to 5? So notice here we can multiply both of these numbers by 2. So we have 3 times 2 and also 5 times 2. So that will be 6 to 10, which we can recognize as uh, the number of gray marbles to the number of black marbles. Okay, next up, we are going to write a three term ratio. So here we have uh, four white marbles to 6 gray to 10 black marbles and that can also be simplified by dividing each term by 2 so we actually have 2, 3, and 5. Finally, uh, if there were 100 marbles instead of 20, we are looking at the ratio of the uh, marbles staying the same. How many white marbles would there be um, instead of 4? So notice that in this example, 100 is equal to 5 times 20. So if the ratio stayed the same, then there will be sh uh, 5 times as many white marbles as well. So we have 5 times 4, which is going to be uh, 20 white marbles. So next up, we just have a quick review here, converting between fractions. So let's see, we have 2 over 3 as a fr fraction. Actually, let's use, uh, let's use a different fraction. Let's have um, maybe 4 over 5. So as a decimal, this will be 4 divided by 5, which is 
0 0.8. And as a percentage, we can take 4 divided by 5, and then multiply by 100%. and we'll get 80%. Okay. So let's look at a second example here. Um, looking at a recipe for fruit punch, which contains, as it said in the paragraph, three cans of orange juice concentrate, two cans of raspberry, uh, juice concentrate and one can of lime juice concentrate. So there are six cans of juice altogether. Uh, for every can of juice concentrate, we add three cans of water. So in the first part here, we're looking at three times three, which is nine cans of water, followed by three times two, six cans of water and then three times one which is of course just three so that would be 18 cans of water altogether also three times six is 18 so altogether the total punch that will be uh, 24 cans altogether Orange juice to lime juice concentrate, that is simply 3 to 1. You can also write it as um, in words, so 3 to 1. Or sometimes as a... Actually, that's two ways already. That's quite sufficient. Uh, follow that up. Lime juice to orange juice to raspberry juice, so instead of... 3, 2, 1, like we have listed up here. Um, we have to write it in the order that's presented to us. So that would be 1 to 3 to 2. Uh, ratio of water to juice concentrate. Now there's two different ways of looking at this. We can look at the totals. So there were 18 cans of water to 6 cans of juice in the table, which if we divide both of these numbers by 6, we'll get 3 to 1. That was also mentioned in the question. Uh, that is 3 cans of water to 1 can of juice concentrate. And from there, how many cans of punch does the recipe make? Uh, we already saw that. The total was 24 cans of water worth. Okay. What is the ratio of orange, raspberry, and lime juice concentrate to total punch? So there were 6 cans of juice concentrate to 24 total punch. This can also be reduced to just 1 to 4. Uh, part to whole ratio can be written as a fraction, decimal, and a percent. Write the ratio found in E as a fraction, decimal, and percent. So that will be simply 1 over 4 or 0 0.25 or 25%. That's it. So um, that's all we have for ratios. And thank you for listening.